Welcome to Review and Reviews. Review and Reviews, your favorite podcast. Favorite podcast. In the world. In the world. In the universe. In the universe. All the stars and everything shining. We got reviews for your liking, baby. Baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Welcome, everybody. Damn, Mike. The musical chemistry between us, sometimes it surprises me. It's just we hit it every time. You That's know, right. just like we're on the same level of it. That's right. Man, it's great. I'm DJ. I'm Mike. And this is another episode of Reviewing Reviews. Let's shake on it. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm great. How you doing? Always great to see you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And it's uh, a holiday. It's a holiday, baby. It's we Thanksgiving. Got... It's Thanksgiving. You know, it's a lot bigger in America than Canada. I was going to ask you that. Yeah. Because when I was looking at this, I'm like, Thanksgiving, like, you got the whole Christopher Columbus thing coming over, but it was always America, mm -hmm. just the U.S. But was Canada the same? Well, was it all we founded at the same time? We don't focus on Christopher Columbus as much. Okay. And we do celebrate it. It is a big holiday back in Canada, but we celebrate it like a month earlier in October. No way. So in, in America, it's a lot more like Thanksgiving and Christmas are so close together that it kind of feels like the holidays have started when Thanksgiving happened. Now you just kind of, you're, it feels so close to Christmas that it feels all kind of oh, like yeah. one big thing. You know what I mean? You get Christmassy. Like even Christmas songs are playing during Thanksgiving. Exactly. They they you feel more. They feel more like it happens before Halloween in Canada. No way. Yeah. So it, it's it's a whole different thing. It's definitely not as big. There's still Black Friday. Yeah. But it, I think it's is that not October not then for you? I guess I can't even. Remember. I think they might even have like Black Friday deals in Canada on the same like on the american black friday because oh, we copy wow. a lot of american culture yeah i don't know actually i don't know when black friday is but it's definitely way bigger in america yeah way bigger it's almost as big as christmas here yeah if it's not huge. bigger it's, it's maybe huge. equal you know what's crazy the past like couple years maybe even like 10 or 15 years though it's gotten bigger because of black friday yeah that's like taking thanksgiving away like some stores open at like 2 p.m yeah. on thanksgiving which is like Whoa, that's the whole big, ho the holiday is Black Friday. Now, yeah. You know, it's like, it hey, eat some turkey feel... and then you'll get some, uh, get some TVs. It doesn't you know? feel sacred. Like it doesn't feel, I love Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm not a particularly religious guy, but I like the idea of it being an excuse to see my family and hang out with people. You know, I love it for that reason, yeah. but it doesn't feel particularly sacred. It feels more like a commercial holiday now. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, I remember... But I was also a kid, so I didn't know what the hell was going on. But it doesn't feel yeah precious at all. It feels like Did you always have a lot of family when you used to oh, eat dinner yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. Wow. We were never that religious, but it was a reason for everyone to come together. That's it was great. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice cranberry sauce. Oh yeah. Stuffing. Oh, the stuffing's the best thing. Turkey. We'd actually have I guess it's an Italian thing, which I found some people were like, That's weird. You'd have we always have lasagna too. Really? Because we would never really have turkey because we weren't like we would just get ham. Sometimes we'd have turkey too. My mom would but make ham for me because she knows I like ham way more I than turkey. I love ham better than Turkey's turkey. Turkey's dry. It's okay. Yeah, I ham? Do, I have to load that up with gravy too, yeah. but ham is so much. With the pineapples and the cherries on oh top. Oh my God. You do cherries too? Oh yeah, dude. Damn, I do pineapples. I've never done yeah, cherries. Pineapples and cherries on there. Damn, man. Get those juices flowing I gotta come on to your ham. house for Thanksgiving. Whew, Are you yeah, going home for Thanksgiving? Uh, no, I might. Um, well, my parents in Vegas now, so I might like... We might have like a Thanksgiving thing, hmm. but I just seen them a couple weeks ago. We might do Christmas instead, ah. but even Christmas, we make the same kind of food. But yeah. we had lasagna with on Thanksgiving all the time. I'd love lasagna. That was an Italian thing. Really? I guess. Yeah. We'd always had that. Damn. My mom good. would do it up. We'd have all like types of food. We have like the leftovers for like seven days. <laughs> That's afterwards. the best part. Just oh, yeah. I do like turkey for the reason you make turkey sandwiches for a couple of days. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I love stuffing. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah. That's the I best. remember when my mom first started dating her now husband, he made his stuffing different. And so she kind of deferred to him in the stuffing department. Uh -huh. She would be like, okay, well, we'll take different duties. I'll handle the turkey and everything. And now you do the stuffing. It wasn't as good. And it, and I didn't necessarily like him that much at that time. <laughs> And Listen, the stuffing, stuffing like, every game. time I, I ate his stuffing, I'd just be glaring at him across the table like, what is this shit? Step your game up if you want to date my mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. Down. When I dated my last girlfriend, uh, she was uh, she was a Mexican girl, and she put like carne asada or like some kind of meat in the stuffing too, which I never had before. 
which was really good, but it was way different than like, I just like the stuffing by itself with some gravy on there. Yeah. You know, but the meat in there too was like kind of like, you know, it's kind of good. Oh yeah. But it was like a different, it's a different taste to yeah. it. It's like, is this stuffing or is it just like a, this is like a sandwich, you know, cause it's got the meat in there too, you know, like yeah. the bread's just mush and I'm eating the, the mushy sandwich right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> What are we doing for Thanksgiving today? What are we doing today? I'm going to tell you what we're doing today. We are going to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade oh, in New York shit. City, baby. Where would people review that? What site? So this is on Yelp. Really? Yeah, it's weird. Oh, I've never been to the Macy's Parade. Have you? I've never been to it. See, I don't know. I don't remember as a kid if this is a big thing in New York, the Macy's Day Parade. Yeah. So I don't know if we watched because I live near Philly. So I think Philly also had a Thanksgiving Day Parade. But I think we actually maybe got the New York City, um, like on the news from it, like that kind of footage, like huh. watching that on TV in New hmm. York because it was way bigger, you know. Huh. Yeah, but, I don't. I remember it, but I don't know if I remember it more from movies and just like general. I don't think we turned on the TV to watch it. Just I don't seeing think. that. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Philly parade just you guys just watch a bunch of people beat the shit out of Santa, <laughs> right? That's the best part of Thanksgiving Day Parade because Santa comes out and just, you, get him, you know. <laughs> See, I think it, I think we did get the New York feed because our big thing in Philly was the Mummers Parade on New Year's Eve, hmm. which the Mummers is a huge thing. In I've Philly. never heard of that. The Mummers, like everyone dresses up, like each like county has like a different like. There's just different like I guess groups of Mummers. There's like what some, are Mummers? They're like kind of like like clown kind of like not clowns but like. I'll probably get beat up for saying that the mummers are clowns if any of our Philly <laughs> listeners are listening. But like, I guess like kind of like that, uh, like carnival style. Okay. Where like they're all different colors and they get in like masks and white paint and like everything. Look up mummers. We'll okay. do that as a review on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, yeah, it's a big, it's a big fucking thing huh. in Philly, the mummers. You know my favorite Philly story? You remember that hitchhiking robot a few years back? I don't know. There was a robot that programmers had designed to hitchhike, and uh -huh. he had made it all the way across Canada, all the way across America, and then when he got to Philly, a bunch of people beat the shit out of him, <laughs> and he, he wasn't able to continue his mission. <laughs> I forget his name. Goddamn right. <laughs> We're beating up fucking Skynet. That's what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Hitchhiking <laughs> so robot, last stop was in Philly. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's last stop's in Philly, you know? That's <laughs> just how it works. Are the reviews good uh, for the Macy's? So it got a four star out of 103 reviews. Okay. Uh, it takes place in, uh, it says Central Park West, 77th Street, but it goes all the way down, just Broadway, I guess. Okay. Um, big parade. And our first review is coming in from Andy K from East Brunswick, New Jersey. In 2008, uh, I think he was the first one to ever review the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on Yelp. Okay. Pioneer. The he, Christopher Columbus of Yelp reviews of for the Macy's. Yelp. <laughs> Mr. Andy K <laughs> came on the Mayflower uh, from East Brunswick, New Jersey to review this. There were actually 10 Indian people who left reviews. <laughs> reviews before this but andy k came in and wiped out all their reviews he just wiped them all out and said i'm taking all these reviews for myself <laughs> terrible thing to laugh about but based on history uh he gave it a five-star review on uh november 25th 2008 he said yes it is cheesy yes it is corny yes it is filled with musicians and broadway shows that lip sync but that is just some of the charm that this parade brings to millions on television and the thousands in attendance I have not been to one of these parades since I was 17, and that last time was indeed memorable. As I am standing there with my friends enjoying all the festivities, the huge cat in the hat balloon comes barreling down the street. It snags one of the light posts and instantly deflates and crashes into the crowd. <laughs> I am underneath what was once a childhood favor turned into a red, white, black, and blue tarp. We managed to get out from under it without any injuries. Someone was seriously injured and sued the city for millions. Thinking back, I wish I had stayed down and faked an ankle injury. Best to get there super early for a good spot, as it does fill up early. This parade is good for people of all ages, include such floats as Shrek, Hello Kitty, Pokemon, Spider-Man, Snoopy, and Elmo. Plus, at the end of the parade, you'll get to see the big man himself, Santa, fresh off a 600th hour bailout of his company. Happy holidays, folks. What does that mean, fresh off a $600 bailout of his company? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess it's 2008, so it was fresh. It was a, the, the, the economic crisis guess. when everyone was getting bailed out. So I guess it was a pretty timely joke at the time. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Didn't uh, really go with the times of us reviewing it right now. but No, I mean, yeah. we're still in a recession, I think, right now. We're in a new one, but people aren't getting bailed out, I don't think. There's no bailouts, yeah. Not, not now. Who can forget those Thanksgiving <laughs> favorites such as Shrek? 
<laughs> Hello Kitty and Pokemon. I love how like that's like a big catastrophe that happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what you re- I don't know how injured that guy got who sued for millions, but the dream is to get just injured enough to get the million, oh but not God. so injured that you're screwed for the rest of your life. Yeah. Like you want something that will heal well enough that you can enjoy your millions. Oh, exactly. Yeah. We talked about this before with amusement parks, I think. When I talked about my buddy back home, yeah. and, like set for life. Yeah, set for life because you had something happen to you. And on like he's a just theme got park. what, like a, his chin, a little, little yeah, off. a little chin, chin's a little off, a little off chin. No big deal. I'll take a little this chin guy for should, millions. Hey, dude, if, look, if we went to a parade together and something happened, I want you to break my ankle for me. If I'm not injured, injure me. I don't know. We'll, 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 I'll, I'll give you a cut. Well, half the profits. I, it would be hard for me to injure you. There was this thing when I was in college. I say college now instead of university. Oh, I say university now instead of college. <laughs> <laughs> in Canada, there's a difference between college and university. If you haven't been listening from the beginning, <laughs> Mike gave me a hard time when I used to say university. <laughs> anyway, uh, there was this video I remember when the internet was like when there were a lot of weird videos going around in the beginning. And there was this yeah. guy who was trying to get out of going to the army. So he had his friend take a sledgehammer to his shin and broke his shin, like shattered his shin. <laughs> Holy shit. But he ended up getting like fined by the army or the government. Like he, they found him. He tried to be anonymous in his video, but they still knew who he was. No I think way. they tracked him. So he ended up like having this shattered shin, plus he got reprimanded by the government or the army. It did not work out for him. But now all. he has the biggest YouTube channel ever because he <laughs> his video went viral. Yeah, just him limping around everywhere. <laughs> all right, the next review... <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I know. That That's guy insane. said, I wish I would have faked an ankle injury. You can't fake it. You got to do it for real. That's They're what I mean. Check. Yeah. That's what I mean. They're going to check at the hospital and have the results. You better yeah. fucking break something. Dude, break my ankle. Next parade we go to, okay? Okay, man. I might just break your ankle out of nowhere. And you're like, what the hell? I'm like, do something with this, Mike. Don't make it for nothing. Look, there's a march. All right, come on. <laughs> The next review is a two-star review, 2012, from Dave W. And Dave says, This parade takes cheesy to a level of Gouda never before achieved by a parade. The ancient and not-so-relevant balloons are oft duct-tape patched, but still manage to stay aloft. The high school bands were focused and did their thing. But otherwise, I'm headed back to Mardi Gras before I do this again. I do have to say that tiny kids loved it, but they were all screaming, crying, or both by the end. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're expecting, dude. Yeah. Mardi Gras is a much different experience than the Macy's. <laughs> yeah, that's what oh. the Mummers is like, Mardi Gras. Is that it? That just popped in my head, yeah. Oh, I was thinking okay. like carnival style. It's like a Mardi Gras type uh, thing. It's like the Philly version of Mardi Gras? Yeah, okay. exactly. I love how this guy had a cheesy joke, no pun intended, uh, at the top. Yeah, you know? takes it to a level of Gouda, Gouda. never before. <laughs> what a burn. Yeah, I mean... This guy, the fact that he even compared it to Mardi Gras, is like, I don't know what you were expecting, dude. Yeah. You know what I was thinking on the way here? Um, you know, Macy's has been such a, like, back in the day, like the 50s and stuff, like big department stores, that's like, that was the big, that's the big thing to go to. Or yeah. like, they like kind of ran everything, like JCPenney's, Macy's, all that stuff. But now it's like, Macy's isn't even a big uh, kind of corporation anymore. No. So you think in the future, it's going to be like the Amazon parade and stuff? I think so. And it'll you know? just be a bunch of robots marching. Just robots marching. Yeah. Uh-oh, here comes uh, yeah. Petey the package, you know? <laughs> it's just Petey a big, the package. A big package or something, you know what I mean? But, like, think of that. Like, Macy's isn't that big of a name no. anymore. It's still a name. It's a household it's, name. It's but... more nostalgia than actual yeah. economic. Yeah, they're not a powerhouse anymore. Yeah, it might be the Amazon. Yeah, the the, the, big, the Google. The big, yeah. 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 Oh, here comes. They're definitely our new overlords at Google, Amazon. They run the world now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So that'll be like the parades eventually. I mean, Amazon, if they put even 0.01% of their annual revenue into a parade, that would be a kick ass parade. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you wouldn't see duct taped They'll have the and drones shit. and shit. <laughs> oh, fuck around. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they better get a parade now. The Amazon that parade? That would be sick. That would be when Skynet hits, though, I think. You know what I mean? The drones will all just, like, turn on people. Oh, hell yeah. They're richer than, like, most countries now, Amazon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazon. They're, but you know what? They're not going to make it in Philly. We'll beat, <laughs> we'll beat the shit out of those robots. <laughs> You're done. That's where they test their robots. Once the robots make it through Philly, they're like, we're ready for world domination. <laughs> just Rocky just beating the shit out of a robot. <laughs> Adrian. All right. Our next review coming at you is a one-star review. And it is from Alice S. from Goodyear, Arizona. Hmm. Is that where Goodyear originated? Maybe? I guess. Maybe. 
I don't know. Sounds like it. Sounds like where they'd probably have a big factory or something. Yeah. I'm looking it up. Goodyear, Arizona. That's where the tires came from. Is a city. Um, it doesn't come up right away, so maybe okay. not. I'm not going that deep into it. What did you Good. say? Goodyear, Arizona. What if the whole episode was just that now? It's like, where do these tires come from? The city is home to the Goodyear Ballpark where the Cleveland Indians and Cincinnati Reds of Major League Baseball hold spring training. Oh, not not okay. that noteworthy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, let's roll around with these tires and go to this uh, oh, one. Baby. Hello. Wheels up. Wheels up, baby. Wheels up. This is a one-star review. She gave it to us in November 27th, uh, 2014. 2014? 2014. That was a good year. Uh, let's talk about watching the Macy's Day Parade on TV. It sucks. I want to see the balloons and float. Less singing, less dancing, less commercials. I saw plenty of balloons when I was a kid watching on TV. This year, no cat in the hat, no turkey, only a couple of the classic parade floats. Matt Lauer and Al Roker didn't even make a big deal that Santa Claus was coming. As a kid, the host made it such a big deal, I couldn't wait to see Santa at the end of the parade. The parade is just a big, worthless ad. A very big disappointment. Man. Damn. No Santa. No Santa. But she, she's a contradiction, because she doesn't like that they're not focusing on Santa. Mm-hmm. But then she also says she wants less singing and less dancing. Yeah. Like, do you want joy or not? <laughs> <laughs> do you like joy? <laughs> and grow up, Alice. But, You're not a kid anymore, okay? Santa, yeah. Santa's not real. Yeah. Maybe she still thinks Santa's real. In Goodyear, Arizona, Santa's probably still real. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, no cat in the hat, no turkey. It's a good... No uh, turkey? What, there's like a big turkey usually walking around? I, maybe, I guess. I guess there is like the big turkey like kind of being like, it's Thanksgiving, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Does he talk like that? It's Thanksgiving! It's Thanksgiving! I'm going to die! <laughs> hey, eat me! It's like the Adam's Family movie. <laughs> eat me! Da, da, na, na. I love the Matt Lauer reference in here, too. Yeah, that doesn't age well either. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Matt Lauer didn't even make a big deal of anything. Well... Did, Al, did anything happen to Al Roker? Did Al, he get I don't think accused so. of anything? I don't think so. No. Matt Lauer is probably like, we need more dildo, uh, <laughs> more dildo p- balloons in this one. There weren't. There were no dildo allegations against him, were they? Wasn't was that g- part of it? Matt Lauer. He yeah. was given dildos as presents, wasn't he? Was he? I You're think so. right. He was. <laughs> wasn't he like giving him and like signing his name, like, hey, you'll love this one or whatever. You'll love this one. <laughs> I think. Matt Lauer, what a fall from grace. I remember he was like locking the door. That was one. Yeah, thing. that was his big thing. Yeah. yeah, which is a creepy fucking thing. But movie. apparently, a lot of like those big news or morning show, whoever, those big personalities, apparently it's not uncommon for them to have a door lock button on their desk. Wow. I don't know where I read that, but that seemed pretty Mr. Burnsy. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. I don't know. All right. So she didn't like the dancing. She wanted more dancing, more singing, more Santa, less commercials. Yep. Can't have it all. Yep. Can't have it all, Alice S. Okay, here's a three-star review from December 1st, 2010. Jane P. from San Francisco, California says, The parade was all right. Granted, I wasn't in the front row or anything, so maybe that really makes a big difference. I was also at the beginning of the parade. When the big balloons started coming out, I got excited. And then after a while, it got kind of old. There were a lot of clowns. I didn't like how the music was inconsistent. It's like sometimes a band comes by, and when they leave, it's kind of weird. I thought that a lot of the floats looked really tacky. I'm sorry if you hate me. Just being honest. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Cool thing was I had listened to Kanye's new album the entire week, and then I saw him on one of the floats. I didn't even expect him there. Also saw some other celebs, but I had no idea who they were. I'm getting old. 2010, what Kanye album would that have been if she was listening to his new album? I think that would have been my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. I think that's when that came out. Wow, look at you with the Kanye knowledge right now. Big Kanye fan. Big. Even his latest album, which is a gospel album, I love it. Yeah? Oh my God, he's the best. When was College Dropout? Was that 2008 or something? No, 2008 would have been uh, 808s and Heartbreaks. Dude, look at this. Dropping the Kanye knowledge. College Dropout would have been. um, DJ (laughs) Titta. College Dropout was when we were young, man. That might have been like 2002. No way. It wasn't that early, was it? I was in late I high school, I think, when the, Man, a Promise came out. She's so when he was like, uh, Through the Wire. What was Through the Wire? Yeah, Through the Wire was off of uh, his first album. and That, that was like was, 2007 think, or something, wasn't it? No, it would have been way before that. 2005? My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy was November 2010. Uh-huh. And College Dropout was... Uh, 
2004. No way. Yeah. So it was like, I remember listening in high school, maybe. I thought it was like, I thought it was like college. Wow. Yeah, no, it was, it's, no way. it's been around a while. I'd be excited to see I Kanye. take a noose for breakfast and so for dessert. Somebody, Somebody order pancakes. I, I just drank the scissor. scissor. That right there could scissors. drive a grown man bizzer. <laughs> yeah. So the, 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 yeah, whatever. Not to worry. Yeah. It's a great song. Tell I love my that song. girl on life support and just imagine how my girl feel. On a plane, she had as hell. Find a van like, like Emmett Till. Yeah. Um, she was with me before the deal. The deal. She's just trying, trying to, to be mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had, wow, that was 2004. Uh, had to use two, three, li- two lifelines. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Great song. That's a good song. I one of the only songs I can rap like all the lyrics to is um, I can't remember the name of it now. Man, I promise, she's so self-conscious. Just, has no idea what she's doing in college. Just, oh major yeah. That she majored in don't make I no did, money, funny. but she can't drop out of pants and look at it funny. Nah. <laughs> Tell me that ain't insecure. <laughs> the concept of school seems so no, secure. So Sophomore three years ain't picked a career. She like, fuck it, I'll just stay down her and do hair. Because that's enough money to buy her. Okay. I love it. Don't think I didn't know the rest of that. <laughs> Don't think. All right. So she didn't uh, She didn't like it that much. I'm sorry if you hate her, she said. She knows it. I'm sorry if you hate me. That was all caps. <laughs> that was all caps. Oh, that's great. Uh, our next one coming at you is Alex B. from Oakland, California. He's given it a two-star on 12-5-2014. Waited like a week or two to uh, kind of put this review up after Thanksgiving. Was stewing on a little bit, you know? I didn't even think of that. It's, it's weird. I haven't even looked at the date, but it'd be weird if you put it up in like April, like you had six <laughs> months to yeah. think about it. I've just been thinking about this floats. I'm just, I want less singing. I want more Kanye. That's what I want. <laughs> so this is Alex B. He gave a two-star. He said, screw you, Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> you look worn out and beaten up like you have been tossed around the block one too many times. The parade is too crowded, too cold, and too many kids. All the famous people are stars on child TV shows. Had no idea who the hell these people are. I took my friend visiting from out of the country for cultural purposes. <laughs> Probably won't be back until I have kids of my own and am able to befriend someone with an office that overlooks the parade route. Next year, I will be nursing that hangover on the couch with some Gatorade and throw the parade on the TV. Just yeah, dude, it doesn't sound like the parade's for you. Yeah, why is he, like, so mad at Snoopy? <laughs> this guy sounds like he's hung over while he's writing this review. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell? And honestly, like, you shouldn't befriend someone just because they have an office that overlooks the parade. Like, there's 365 days in a year you're going to have to hang out with that person, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> yeah. The parade's one day out of the year. That shouldn't be your main criteria. Sorry, John, can't make it tonight, but uh, see you in November. Yeah, see you. <laughs> yeah this see guy. It's July. And yeah, I'm kind of busy. The parades for kids, like yeah, that's why they have kid stars. Yeah, right? screw you, Snoopy. <laughs> screw you. Snoopy. Take it easy, bro. I do love the idea of like a really like bedraggled looking like Snoopy costume, like just <laughs> dirt all over it. The guy smoking a cigarette through the Snoopy <laughs> mouth. <laughs> He's all hung over himself. Like, Ugh. is that Snoopy or Pigpen? What's going on here? <laughs> All right, here's another review, Mike. This is uh, five stars from Olivia M. from Cincinnati, Ohio. Beautiful smile on her profile picture. Just a ray of sunshine. I'm excited. I feel like she's going to have some positive words just from this positive-looking picture. Mm -hmm. Uh, First sentence confirms that. She says, does life get any better than being front and center, uh, practically a part of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City? This was the best experience of 2016. So glad the weather held up and no violence as previously predicted from the news. The day was epic. Thankful to the NYPD man in blue, Officer Cutie, who stood by my side the whole time while checking folks in. Getting the opportunity to see all the floats, Al Roker, Confetti Galore, and most of all, Santa! Life was made this day. I may never have the chance to be this close again, but I will definitely go back and be in the crowd with the regulars, LOL. <laughs> I don't know why she put regulars in air quotes there. <laughs> just, just people, right? People that like Thanksgiving. You're, you're a regular person. <laughs> yeah. She loved it. I've been here five years in a row. Thank you. I'm here all the I'm time. I'm a regular. Officer Cutie over here. <laughs> It's good to see you again. Excuse me, you're in my spot. This yeah. is where I always stand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a uh, seat too? There's no seats. Um, this is my seat. Okay. <laughs> the news predicted violence. I feel like any big event they're going to predict <laughs> that violence. That is so, so funny. That she also left this review December 22nd, so this was like a month no way. after. Yeah. Oh my God. She just needed a month to really just process how great of a day it was. Yeah. She what was a li- day. Living it up. Does life get any better? Yeah. Nope. 
We predict violence. That's just a funny thing to predict, too. Yeah, they do that all the time. Yeah, we got Snoopy. We got uh, some other big... Pro- pro- oh, up oh, here comes Shrek. Oh, no violence yet, though. No violence at Oh, all. my God. Shrek and Snoopy are going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Snoopy looks very disheveled and beat up already. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's been in a fight. Uh, I love her positivity, though. Yeah. If you're going to go to the parade, bring that positive attitude. Of course, man. You're going to a parade. You I know? don't like parades because I don't like being around a lot of people like that. They're yeah. usually during cold times of year. Yeah. I don't need to see a big float. I don't care enough. So yeah. I'm, I'd am i be more of the type that would be like, ah, screw this. But yeah. I would just not go. I wouldn't go and then leave a bad I review. I went to like two in my life. But I was always hoping the float would just kind of give out and just hit me so I can break an ankle or something, you know. I'm trying to get that <laughs> You're lottery always ticket. scheming. Always, always scheming. scheming. <laughs> always scheming. <laughs> Uh, DJ, this is our last review. It looks like we got two, don't this we? This is it. Well, you want to do this? Well, we, oh, sorry. Yeah, this is all the one. Uh, real quick one that I thought was super <laughs> yeah, it funny. it looks real quick. It's a real quick one. Uh, so this is from, uh, this is from Joe M. I'll say it real quick and then go into the other one. This is an unreviewed, right? This is the un, this is unrecommended. Unrecommended, maybe. yeah. This is unrecommended. Okay. Yelp didn't want you to see it, but too bad, guys. You're We're telling it. you. You're seeing it, baby. Uh, this is from Joe M. from Brooklyn, New York. He just gave it a one star, unrecommended, and all I put was, shit. <laughs> That's all he put. All right, Joe. That's all he put, uh, which I thought was hilarious because he's going through some shit. You know what I mean? If he's just like, shit. Yeah, I got to just go to the Macy's. Or was he just like, shit? This is shit. Yeah, I don't know. You know? I don't know. One word's very hard to parse. Yeah. He doesn't have a picture. I don't know what's going on with Joe. Nothing. And- that was his only review ever. <laughs> uh so this, la- this last one is Fanima, Fanima B, Fanima uh, B. from Long Island City, New York. Hmm. Uh, 103 friends, 23 reviews, but this one was unrecommended. Is Long Island City, New York the same as Long Island? Is that the same thing, or are those two different things? Uh, I think they're. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. I think Long Island City is the um like the main thing of because Long Island is the whole long. Like, there's so many different districts in Long Island. Oh. And then there's the actual, like, Long Island City. Ah, uh, okay. Kind of like how New York, New York yeah. is the, you know, Manhattan. I got you. That. Okay. Um, so this is a three-star on November 30th, 2011. Also an unrecommended. Unrecommended. Mm-hmm. She said, what a fun parade. I took my niece this year. So many people. The balloons are huge. And Santa, at the end of the, at the, end of the parade, they, they have rebounded nicely after that freak accident where the balloon hit someone watching. <laughs> Weather was great, and so was eating the turkey in my house afterwards. <laughs> that was 2011. Do you think she's referencing that other one at the beginning? <laughs> I think she's referencing the, the first guy. Yeah. Yeah, because 2008 the was the time of that review. Where the, yeah. Wow, that must, have, that must have made the news, like where everybody... That freak accident. Wow. I feel like I've seen like a viral video of that, but I don't yeah. know if it was Cat in a Hat or something. I think you're right. Yeah, it's something like happening. And if you zoom in, you see a guy trying to break his own ankle <laughs> on the viral video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking I'm looking it up. Cat in the Hat, Macy's Parade accident. Uh-huh. It was 97, the one I'm seeing here. 97? happened before, too? The one I'm seeing. Wow. Yeah. No shit. Oh, she, the person who said uh, I, that was my first time since I was 17, and that was the time when the cat in the hat balloon came down. So I think it was like a long time ago. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, this video. Oh, my God. It's terrible. People are really <laughs> injured. Like, people are getting wheeled off in stretchers and stuff. No way. Oh, yeah, the cat in the hat coming down. No shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, go back. I want to say. Look at this. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Cat in the hat knocking, like, street lights down and stuff. Look oh, at- my goodness. That's not fun. That's not funny. Yeah, but look at all those millionaires right there. Unless they're dead. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. I- that is scary with the light posts and stuff. If light posts are... Co- like... I guess the float comes down. It's not going to be that bad. Yeah, the float, but this float. But you but could you get know. stuck underneath, and if it's yeah. heavy, you can. And suffocate. these floats aren't just like th- for them to be that big and have structural integrity. They're not just balloon material. They got to have like actual like metal and stuff in there. Look at you with the structural integrity. <laughs> I'm an architect, Mike. <laughs> Structural integrity? What a word. I trust everything you say right there if you're talking about like, well, the structural integrity of this float really didn't come down. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what I'm talking about. It sounded like you did. You were good. 
All right, Mike. Well, oh, uh, well, that's good that she enjoyed her turkey in her house afterwards, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After that freak accident, we had to enjoy some turkey. What was your favorite review? Uh, my favorite was the first guy talking about Cat in the Hat, man. The accident? I love that guy, yeah. Yeah. Because he was so energetic about it, you know? Mm-hmm. Give it a five star right off. He said, yes, it's corny, but I love it, you know? Mm-hmm. And then he's talking about like Santa with the bow out and stuff. I love that guy. He was good. Hmm. Just thinking it back. Cause, I mean, he's being truthful. He's like, I thought about spraining my ankle just for the hell of it. You yeah. Know? Just running towards the <laughs> running towards the chaos, you know? Yeah. Just to get that glimpse of the of the money. I'm so paranoid about hurting myself or having some freak accident happen to me that I'd rather be broke yeah. than take a chance of becoming a millionaire off one of those accidents. Really? I'm too scared of that shit. Man. Every day I'm walking around the streets, I'm looking up in the sky. What's going to fall on me? Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, exaggerating a little bit, but. Yeah. Dude, nah, if a man. car's coming yeah. quick, I fucking don't even move that much. <laughs> really? Yeah. What? I don't like big parades for that reason. I don't need that many people being around me. There's too much chance for shit to happen. Nah. Yeah, that too. I don't like, yeah, I don't like big crowds that way too. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, something I think, could happen. I think my favorite review is Jane P who said she saw Kanye after she had been listening <laughs> to his new album. Yeah. Just triggered from the parade. <laughs> yeah. That's like my favorite Kanye album, too. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yeah. I'd be pretty pumped if I was listening to that all week. And then I'm like, yeah, I love Kanye. all the knowledge you have of Kanye. I didn't know that about you. Oh, yeah. I love Kanye. Yeah. He's, he's the best. Yeah. Even, like I said, the I know new you're album. a big Drake fan. Yeah. You're a Kanye huge Drake Drake. fan. But yeah. Kanye, I didn't know. You were dropping, like, no, no, 2008. No, no. You're like going down the timeline of him. That's well, great. I, other than 808 and Heartbreak, Every album I listened to, like, nonstop when it came out. That one I came around a bit later. I, I was slow to jump on yeah. it. But, uh, yeah. What was Gold Digger? Was that the... Gold Digger was his uh, second album. That would have uh -huh. been Late Registration, I think. Oh, it was Late Registration. Yeah, I remember that name. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was on that. It, yeah. It was either on that or um, the one after, which was... Uh, I forget. His first three had college-themed titles, but it was on yeah. Late Registration, yeah. Dude. Look at you. Come, Come on, on now, huh? Look at this Jeopardy oh, of Kanye. I've been waiting for this Kanye knowledge to come <laughs> in handy. Overall, Mike, I love these reviews. I'm going to give it... Um, I'm going to give it... I liked it, the joy and then some people not being able to find joy in the parade. Really, the whole emotional spectrum. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it... Uh, I'm going to give it four, four Matt Lauer dildos. Oh, uh, okay. Four? Okay. I'm going to give it um, four structural integrities. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm going to give it. Four structural integrities. <laughs> A good episode. You it's know, I, I like that parades exist. I don't necessarily want to be in a group of people that big, but I like when society put that much work into something, people come together, even if it's like just to have a commercial thing. Like, yeah. I don't know why we need to see a Shrek thing, but yeah. it's for the kids. All this stuff yeah. is for the kids. I was just going to say that. I think it'll change when we're, when we're parents. You yeah. know, if you remember, like you see like the glimpse in your daughter's eye, seeing like the big, like, you mm -hmm. know, the big uh, Elsa from Frozen, Per, like float and stuff you know what i mean exactly and that's what makes the minions worth now it, kids love know? minions yeah and then i can't wait to just throw my daughter on the ground and then just try to like cash in on something you know what i mean <laughs> honey break your father's ankle <laughs> <Yeah>. hit it <laughs> remember what you did to the cat yeah do it to me well i hope i'm gonna look into it. i hope that guy or multiple people who were in that cat in the hat act and i hope they turned out okay that would be a horrible thing to they're running wall street now that's what they're doing <laughs> they're all millionaires yeah. All right. Yeah, they run the company Cat in the Hat, Inc. They <laughs> named their company after that beautiful, fortuitous day that changed their lives forever. I love it. Another well, episode in well, the hey, books. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy American Thanksgiving. I will yep. say I've had great memories of American Thanksgiving. I moved to the state three years ago, mm -hmm. and two of the three years I've been here, new friends in America have known that I didn't have family here or anything, and they've had me over to their house and let me be part of their family Thanksgiving. So it's a it's a beautiful it. day, and I've been filled with the, the kindness of friends and strangers and new friends, and, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's a wonderful holiday. That's what it's all about, man. Mm -hmm. I love that scene in uh, Funny People when they celebrate Thanksgiving. Is that Thanksgiving uh, or is it Christmas? I don't remember. I, I love that movie, though. I love when Adam Sandler's like, this is, uh, it's all friends around, and he just like gives a toast, and it's like everyone around you, like, be thankful for, it. it's what it is, it's all about friends and, mm -hmm. you know, family around you, and even if you can't be home, home for the holiday, you're still surrounded by people you love. That's right. Focus on that. Yep. And uh, focus on the people that love you. Send that love right back their way. Yep. We're sending our love right your way. Yeah, we love you guys. Yeah. Thanks Mike, I love you. I ain't hey. afraid to say it. I love you, buddy. <laughs> all <laughs> right, guys. Happy well, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Always a pleasure. And we'll catch you next week. Hey, we'll see you guys next week. All right, peace. See ya. You.